got some more fishing and a cool little surprise for you today. Something a little different, some sort of, sort of thing I don't normally put on my channel, but we're going to try it out. Let me know what you think of it. Um, we're going to start off going to the jetty, catching a few fish, and then get into a little bit of a project. Uh, so before we do that, let's uh, do shout out H2O Vinyl Designs. That's my company. If you like any of my hats or stickers, you can order them on my website at h2ovinyldesigns.com. And also make sure you follow on Instagram at H2O Vinyl Designs. That's where you can see some bonus stuff before it gets on YouTube. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. We'll keep this intro short. We'll get right into the video and let us know what you think in the comments. Alright, rough out here. Very, very rough. We got some mullet. We're going to throw them on out for some snook or tarpon or reds. me in the pilings. Uh, I don't need a net yet. It's going to be a little while if he doesn't get me in the pilings. Woo. Getting dominated here. There we go. Oh. There we go. Thank you very much. No, I just didn't use other people's. Big red. Big red fish. I'm gonna. right there in the corner.
All right, so we are leaving now. We got a nice 30 inch snook that Dave handed off to me. Didn't get it on camera, but we're gonna go do something cool now. I'm gonna show you something pretty sweet we can do with this fish. All right, guys, so we got the snook. We're here with Kyla and we're gonna clone it or as best as you can do. And this is a, a fish rub. Uh, I don't remember how to say the actual name. I'll look that up and tell you at the end. But what we got here, we've done a little bit of prep, getting it ready for you. All I did was really clean off the snook, try to get rid of as much slime as I can and dry him off. He's all iced down, he's cold, but you gotta make it so he's not slimy. And then we got acrylic paints, which are all non-toxic, so we're not wasting the fish. At the end, we're gonna still be able to ice it down and then fillet it and eat it. I uh, got a couple brushes, a little, couple paper plates to mix paints on. And then this is just cotton fabric. I got black and then a bluish color. So we'll get into this and show you guys what we're doing. This is something really cool. You pumped to do it? And I'm gonna go first, show Kyla how to do it, show you guys how to do it, and then she's gonna go ahead and uh, make one as well. A little more, there we go. Now his fin's all lit up. Got our fish all dry. Got some colors ready. I think it's about time. Let's uh, start painting. Start painting them, yeah. There go. Weird. You want to cover enough of it, so you're definitely getting all the paint on. But you still want to make sure you can pull the texture of the scales off when you go to do your pull. So don't glob it on too thick. And again, this is non-toxic paint. We will still be enjoying this delicious snook. Which is actually... Oop, got a little bit of brown on there. Didn't mean to do that. That's all right. I don't like snook. This is an ocean snook, so he's gonna be very light. Cause that's... would usually not be on the, on the on the towel yeah that's all right now real bright yellow fins Ooh, let me see. that is not bright well, <laughs> pretty bright right compared to the rest of them yeah yep probably good yeah, I'd say so. The painter was straight. Oh. We got our black fabric and we are going to line it up, go on the fish. Once it touches the fish, it needs to stay right there. And we're gonna get all those little pieces that we can. Get those fins real good. Let's get that top fin. How can you even see it? I know where it is. No wrinkles, hopefully. You touched its eyeball again. It's okay. It's bottom gross. fin. Almost forgot the bottom fin again. <laughs> and then at the end, you can go in and do your details with a little brush. All right, you want to see if it turned out? Yes. I haven't done it on black before, so it's just cotton fabric. Find somewhere we can lay it down. Just a little bit on his nose right there. But that is the exact size of the fish. Really cool way to preserve a fish without uh, getting an expensive mount made. And then we'll go in, we'll do the eyeball by detail, and I'll probably touch up the top of the nose there too. But there he is. You can see every single scale. Texture of the tail, texture of that fin gill plates there's the jaw 
I really wish I got that nose done more because I need more paint on the nose. We'll make sure we do that on yours. Okay. So we're gonna rinse it all off and start over again. Acrylic paints, non-toxic paints. Wash right off. Ooh, we got her fish, same fish, all cleaned up, dried off. Got her hair back out of her He's eyes. Bleeding. He's bleeding a little bit, but that's okay. It looks like red. And she's gonna get her paints ready and start painting it. You doing the whole thing turquoise? Yes. Spread this around. Get the body all done up. Ew, that looks weird. What's this, a Miami Dolphins snook? <laughs> Go. Scared me. Keep going. Remember his nose too, because that's where I was having trouble. Yeah, there. Missed a piece right here. There you go. Pink tails. Now what are you doing? Adding some blue. Blue and purple fins. This is the craziest snook. What do you think about us putting a black stripe down him so you can still tell he's a snook? Yeah. Good idea? Yes. Oh, ho, ho. perfect, perfect, perfect. Slate it. All right. All right. Hopefully I don't mess this part up. Yeah, mine's a crazy fish. Oh yeah, very crazy fish. Yeah. The crunch? Yeah. Just a paper plate. I can see the scales through it. I know, you can already see them. It's gonna be a good one. Oh yeah, the napkins under the fins works way better than rocks. Mine's better than yours. Might be. We'll let YouTube decide. Yeah. All right, what do you think? We ready? Yes. All right, get ready with rocks to help me. What? What? That actually looks That looks cool. really cool. Looks All right, terrible. grab those pins. It almost looks like a tarp in the shape of it. Walk backwards. We're going to lay it on the rocks. Nope, keep going back. Here you go. Set it down. Put some rocks on the corner so it doesn't blow up. Look at that thing. Crazy colors. Crazy snook. I'm crazy. Throwing rocks. Alright guys, so that wraps it up. That was a totally amateur uh, shot of this. What you think, Kyla? It was good. Here is our finished projects. You can let go. Kyla's. That one I like a lot. The crazy color snook on black. And then here's mine on the blue. And this is one I like a lot too. It's got a jacked up nose, but on the black. And you can see every scale. So, it's a lot of fun. You guys can do it. You can do it with anything. You can do it with a redfish, flounder, whatever. A uh, flatter fish work better. I've tried it before on a cobia and it was pretty hard because the cobias are so round. But yeah, that wraps it up. Thank you for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Later.